we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section matrices and determinants this problem is on the consistency and inconsistency of the system of equations this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 26th june 2022 in the second shift the given question is if the system of equations alpha x plus y plus z is equal to 5 x plus 2 y plus 3 z is equal to 4 x plus 3 y plus 5 z is equal to beta has infinitely many solutions then the ordered pair alpha comma beta is equal to we are given four options option a the ordered pair 1 comma minus 3 option b minus 1 comma 3 option c 1 comma 3 option d minus 1 comma minus 3 we are given a system of linear equations in three unknowns x y z the first equation is alpha x plus y plus z is equal to 5 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 4 x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to beta and if this system has infinitely many solutions then required to find the ordered pair alpha comma beta from the given four options we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail and uh, this is the given system of equations it is a non homogeneous system of linear equations and uh, its matrix equation is ax is equal to b where capital a is equal to alpha it's a 3 by 3 matrix whose first row is alpha 1 1 second row is 1 2 3 third row is 1 3 5 Agree, and this is called the coefficient matrix of the system. Capital X is equal to the column vector consisting of the variables x, y, z. B is a column vector consisting of the values five, four, beta. Right. the system has infinitely many solutions implies delta is equal to 0 and delta 1 is equal to delta 2 is equal to delta 3 is equal to 0 where delta is the determinant of the coefficient matrix and delta i is same as delta with the ith column replaced by the b column vector b now delta is equal to 0 delta is determinant of a determinant of a alpha alpha 1 1 first row 1 2 3 second row 1 3 5 the third row expand is equal to 0 expand this determinant by the first row this is the expansion what we have done simplify and we get alpha is equal to 1 alpha is equal to 1 delta is equal to 0 will imply alpha is equal to 1 delta 1 is equal to 0 delta 1 is same as delta with the first column replaced by 5 4 beta with the first column replaced by the column vector b the column vector b is 5 4 beta written in blue color so now expand by first row this is the expansion of the determinant by first row is equal to 
simplify this is the simplification what we have made and that will imply beta is equal to 3 so delta 1 is equal to 0 will give beta is equal to 3 normally the students will stop here and uh, take alpha is equal to 1 beta is equal to 3 and 1 comma 3 is your answer that's also true it's okay but uh, we need to convince ourselves that delta 2 is equal to 0 and delta 3 is also equal to 0 the system admits infinitely many solutions when delta is equal to delta 1 is equal to delta 2 is equal to delta 3 is equal to 0 so that requirement we have to see for alpha beta is equal to 1 comma 3 for alpha is equal to 1 beta is equal to 3 let us take delta 2 delta 2 is same as delta with the second column is replaced by 5 4 beta so the second column is replaced by now put alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to 3 so we get the determinant 1 5 1 1 4 3 1 3 5 expand you do it and find out that the answer is 0 the determinant value is 0 check it I am not showing this you please check and delta 3 is equal to delta 3 is same as delta with the third column is replaced by b that is 5 4 beta this is 5 4 beta now put alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to 3 in this and expand this determinant 1 1 5 1 2 4 1 3 3 by the first first row and find out the answer is 0 so this determinant is 0 check it the details I am not showing you have to do it so now thus we got for alpha comma beta is equal to 1 comma 3 delta is equal to 0 delta 1 is equal to delta is 2 is equal to delta 3 is equal to 0 thus it, it uh, accepts the an infinitely many solutions now this is so for alpha comma beta is equal to 1 comma 3 therefore the system has infinitely many solutions implies alpha comma beta is equal to 1 comma 3 so let's look at our options and uh, our answer alpha comma beta is equal to 1 comma 3 appears against option c therefore the answer to this question is option c right that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem of a given system of non-homogeneous linear equations and about uh, the existence of uh, infinitely many solutions for that system and uh, i am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and uh, i wish you all the best thank you